over here, if you are, ask you anybody, where you from? You tell them from Libya. He says, where's Libya? But when you tell them Gaddafi, everybody knows Gaddafi, because they know he's, he's an insane guy, he's crazy. And I, I don't know how they left him in the power so long, you know, for 42 years. So the guy come in this country, he just like, he's trying to divide the people outside the country, like make them against each other, but the people, the people so nice. It's, and everybody work and everybody study, everybody go to school, it's, we was, we have doctors, we have engineers, we have... Since he came, he's like, he's cut down schools, cut down in hospitals. You know, if you get sick, and he's starting now, you don't have to have a hospital to take care of you. You have to go in Tunisia, to Egypt, or go in France, or overseas, you know. He's a crazy guy, he's killed anybody. He was killing students inside the college. He's hanging people in, in like we have... Uh, a holy month is for Ramadan. He's hung people in that month. A Libyan all live in terror there in Libya, you know, it's they scared, they can't even talk to nobody, you don't know who's your friend, who's your who's in a who's a police, who's in the army like like years ago, like how was last year before that breakdown, you know? And uh, until today the people are scared even to talk to anybody. You know, even you call your family, they tell you all. Oh, that very nice, everything is okay. Because he's coming at night. He's, if you say anything, the, the phone speak. Watch out for it when you talk on the phone. When you talk to somebody, you don't know who. You know, they go asking the kids in school, what's your mother and your father say? And what they're talking about. Yep. So, and after that, they're coming just pick up the people from their houses and don't know where they're taking them.